What's up, nerds? I'm Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Monster Races, the game everyone's been waiting for. Oh look, there's some more monsters. This time we should befriend one. Okay, last time I said we should get the ability soon. It's right now. All monsters have strengths and weaknesses, so you need a team. You can't win with one monster. I can. I should try it, because why not? Some monsters are good on grass, others on water, and so on. You need to use your monsters wisely if you want to win. Which means you first need to have a more to have more monsters in your team. That's where monsters come in. Before we just raced the wild monsters normally. But this time we'll try to convince the monster to join us. Let's give it a try with that monster over here. I remember the method, and it is strange to say the least. Like, it makes sense, kinda? But it's just strange. And of course, we're going to get the ugliest one. Apart from just raising wild monsters to gain experience, you can also ask your monsters to befriend the wild monsters so that they can join your team. Monsters show that they want to be friends by firing their special monsters at each other. Press A to fire monsters. This will slow you down. When monsters hit wild monster, they fre their friend gauge fills up. When the gauge becomes full, they become friends, and the monster will join. The monster joins your team. Now, let's give it a try. So yeah, as soon as... <laughs> can I take it? <laughs> okay. This was mean, but... Yeah. So yeah, it's just that. The interesting thing about that is... You always want to be behind the enemy monster that you want to befriend. But you never want to fall too far behind so that you can't see it. And also... You don't want to um, take so long that you lose the race. So it is a strange but interesting mechanic. I, I like it. <laughs> I've successfully befriended a wild squirm, which I don't care. I'm gonna yeah, I've got, I'm gonna add it to the team. It is good on water, which I don't have yet because I only have my grass starter thing. Do you understand now how to befriend monsters? Oh, you should know this though. If the wild monster's level is higher than your monsters, then your monster will have no effect and you can't befriend them. If you need some more practice, I think the racer union has support has a support counter that can help you out. So basically, we need to be stronger than the enemy to be able to befriend the enemy. Makes... Mostly makes sense. Poco, I want to have this one. He's good on uh, on sand, as far as I can remember, and I really like its design. It's just it's just a cute little bugger. And I mean, yes, in the beginning it's very easy to do this. Later on, you actually have to race them and think constantly, think about it. Can I shoot now? Should I wait? But in the beginning, it's just easy. Oh yeah, I remember. Poco has really bad stats. But I think he gains a lot of stats later on. Or like, he gains them faster than anyone else, something like that. Hey, isn't that? Yeah, it's the boy who was at the Monster Racer license test. What's he doing here? Oh, no, please, don't. Please give it back. Huh, I'm going to say, no, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll be seeing you. Are you alright? What happened? Oh, oh no, what will I do? They, they took it. They took my racer's medal. I couldn't stop them. You have no idea how long I spent trying to get that medal. And now it's gone. And I'll never get it back. <laughs> I'm gonna go die over there. <laughs> yes, you will. We'll get it back for you. What? It's only right that we'll help you. You do the same for us, right? No, he won't. <laughs> Come on, Renegade. We can't let them get away with it. They can't have gone far. I think I changed her voice once again. Let's get them. I like how his glasses sparkle. <laughs> Every few seconds. And next monster. Snorpork! Oh yeah, I want this one. Then I can get... Ah, wait. This one gets more... He gets a boost in his status, but I don't know why. 
There was something about rivalry or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I want this one and I want to get rid of uh, Squirm then. See, that one's faster already and it jumped. Oh yeah, I forgot you can get coins as well. And one more time. Just wait and got it. See, that was a bit more. You have successfully befriended a wild Snorpork. Add to the team. And I will remove Squirm because I don't like this one. I mean, I don't have the... Uh, my favorite team or anything, but I mean... I'm gonna... I'm gonna train... Po what's his name? Poco. I'm gonna train Poco a bit. Don't need to try to befriend because... Oh, shit. For, oh, he was... He was above us. Which means um, it counted as if he would jump on us. So as you see, Poco is quite a uh, slow one. But he has way more power than most of the others. So if you fight with the enemy more than you just race them, he's great. But if you want someone who is just... Running in a race, he's not that good. That's why I'm... Uh, oh, got a Star Crystal. That's why I'm training him a bit, because when he levels up, I guess he will be better. And this monster just... Regrew. <laughs> now I'm gonna stick with Poco. Also, he would be faster if it was on sand. Boink. So... These coins are actually just money, like regular money that you use in-game. Not anything in particular for the race, no, it's just the prize money. Goes up. Uh, still. Oh, by the way, yes, I just saw that one. Um, all the others gain experience too, but not very much. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. See that over there? That's a monster orb. Yes, that was it. Monster orbs. I totally forgot. The quickest way to a monster's heart is to give them a few monster orbs. They just love them. And monster orbs have all sorts of interesting effects too. Why don't you grab that orb and I'll show you what I mean. Green orb required. Now that you've got a monster orb, you can give it to a monster. Open up the menu and choose monsters, then monster orbs. The monster orbs are absorbed by the stars on the monster's bodies. This makes the monsters happy and increase their lo loyalty. And another thing, if you if you then go down and choose color change, you can redecorate your monsters in your favorite shades. The more orbs you give a monster, the more different colors you can choose from. Once you pick an orb, it will disappear, obviously, but as time passes, it will reappear again in the same spot. The more you collect, the more unique you can make your monsters. That's what I said before. This is a really cute idea. Like, it really is. Let's give him this orb. Oh yeah, it gives him some experience or something. And now we can make him a bit more green. It's not much yet, because we only have stage 1, so we will, we will wait with that. But as you see, it's the monster itself. Changes color and the sprite as well. So it actually does something, and I really like that. Bam, let's see. Next up, Squirm. Our Poco has gained the skill Power Spur. Let's see what that does. Slightly increases power when receiving damage. Okay. So as its loyalty gets better, it gets stuff. Not even this guy has one. Hmm, interesting. So like I said, Poco has some advantages that I just forgot. I think it was that he gets his skills faster. By the way, um, to the right on the screen, like the bottom screen, you see the enemy squirm with a book symbol right next to it, which is just like in Pokemon when you see a Pokeball uh, symbol right next to it, which just means we have already befriended them in our monster encyclopedia stuff. 
And we level up. Poco is level 4 now. Speed plus 2, thrust plus 1, power plus 1, spirit plus 1. Also, there are no wild, no, yeah, no wild encounters or no random encounters. It's always, the, the monsters are always on their fixed path, but I think it doesn't have to be the same monster every time, if you know what I mean. So, this one I'm fighting right now that ju just went left and right, could have been a Poco, could have been a Squirm, could have been anything that's just around here, I think. So yeah, I will just end this as soon as possible, and I win. I like the idea of either completing the full race, or just being way stronger or way faster than your opponent, because it makes sense. If if I'm racing against someone and he is like pff, miles ahead, I'm like, yeah, like, fuck this, I'm going home. Mini motivator acquired. I think that was the revive of this game. Yeah, it's revive. And we're gonna uh, go up. Look, over there! That's one of the big bullies who took Gang's medal. I think he's keeping watch there. Somehow, I don't think he's just going to let us pass. Be careful, okay? Yeah, I want to fight one more monster before I know, so I start piece. I'm gonna fight this Poco with my Poco. Because like I said, I, I kind of like this one. But so far it is more or less useless. I mean, useless. He is... Against wild monsters, he is pretty good. But I think in a normal race... Yeah, we'll find out. Oh, uh, the star piece I just talked about. Or star crystal, sorry. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What? A medal? I don't know nothing about no medal. And you ain't getting through here, I'll tell you that much. Dong Jun has challenged you to a monster race. Dong Jun. Uh, let's go with Leafy, just to be sure. Because he will have some weak ass. No, he has a bamboozle! One of my favorites. Like, I seriously love it. Look at it, it runs! <laughs> I want one, and I will get one pretty soon, I think. Because as far as I can remember, the first continent you go to is Asia? Okay, so in the left corner, left hand corner, you have my turbo, my turbo gauge, which uh, fills by just running normally, or getting this meat. And the turbo looks like this. Each monster has a different one, or there are a few different ones. And some monsters have this, some monsters have that. Like Poco, as far as I can remember, has just a dash where he just hits everything in his path and I win so this was a trainer battle or whatever you may call it <laughs> my goodness look at it <laughs> um, so there is no moving finish line it's just normal finish line that's it Ah, you you I get you for this okay bye bye Let's fight this one with our Poco. Because I would like Poco to be level 5 soon. And I will try to at least wait a bit with winning so I can show its boost or its turbo. But I mean, it's hard not to win instantly. This is strange. Wait, I'm gonna go down. Nope. I thought there was a meat down here. Seems like I was wrong. Over here maybe? Yeah, that should do the trick. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's just more or less the same. I I was wrong. I had that in my head. I had that way different in my head. Um, we've been down there, right? Yes, that's where we came from. Well, hello there, you're new. Gang's Racer Medal? Yes, I might know what you mean. I think I found a medal earlier. I had no idea it was his. Well, of course I would turn it. If you can beat me in a monster race. Ha 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 Rosalita has challenged you to a monster race. 
So we will defeat Rosalita. Why is... Why am I so dark on the camera? Ouch, that's hot. It's one of those IKEA lamps that's just hard to adjust. One of those cheap ass IKEA lamps. We're gonna go with Leafy once again because I think he is about to level up. I'm not quite sure. It's a knocks out. That one looks good. It it, it fits her. Like it's kinda like a Vulpix. Kinda. Then again, it's kinda like a skunk as well. It's just strange. But like I said, I, I like the monster designs in this game. They are way more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Way more... Way more inspired than in quite some other games. Can I? Yes, got the big coin. Like there's tons of... Uh, like bootleg crap or just poor man's... Pokemon, stuff like that. And many times they are just bad. Like, bad, bad. And the monster design is just. Ugh. But hey, if you know some of those games, let me know. I'm For Jotun, I'm looking for stuff like this all the time. Leafy levels up. Speed plus one, thrust plus two, power plus one, spirit plus two. I don't know why you're taking this so seriously. Here, I don't want this anyway. Gang's Razor Medal has been returned. Don't get too cocky. I went easy on you this time. Don't think it will happen again. Okay, bye-bye. And we done it. You did it, Renegade. That was amazing. Change your voice again. Ah, uh, uh, you're right. I hope you, I didn't put you in any danger. I shouldn't have got you involved. Don't worry about it. We got your medal back for you. What? See, here you go. Oh, this is my... It's my racer medal. Racer's medal. You really did get it. Gang's racer's medal has been returned to him. I don't know how to thank you. If there's anything I can do... Give me all your money. Like, right now. <laughs> I will be forever in your debt. I wish there was some way. That's it. I don't know how much help this will be. But this... After my racer's medals, the racer's medal is my greatest treasure. I want you to have it. I think you can make the most of it. Gang have, has given you his handbook. It's empty right now, but it will record the names and skills of all monsters you find. So it's a Pokedex. Wow, that's fantastic! Isn't that great, Renegade? There are so many monsters out here in the world, and each of them can learn so many skills. But with this, we'll be able to keep track of them all. Let's get started. I'm glad you like it. I hope you will be of some use. It will be of some use for you. You can check the handbook from the menu by pressing X. So that's the symbol right next to the wild monsters. It's a handbook. I, I, I should probably be leaving now. And he left. See, do someone a favor and you'll get something in return. This is a very strange outlook. Like, you should do favors to others and of course it's always nice if you get something out of it but you shouldn't do stuff just to get something out of it right but anyway <laughs> and you feel good too yes it's mostly i know i was right about you renegade what you know what i mean you're natural at this you and your monster work great together you know what the star cup's coming up soon it's for beginner races renegade i think you could even win come on let's see if i'm right so I can start the Star Cup at any time now, but first I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind a bit, like, not seriously grinding up to, ooh, up to level 10, 20, but just, just some grinding. I'm gonna go with this one, just so that it will be easier. Bam. 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 And one more time. Bam. Got it. Easy. Do I want to take it with me right now? Nah. As far as I can remember, the Star Cup is really pretty easy. So, like I said, this, this game starts very easy. Very, very easy. It gets harder later on, and some battles, some races are even pretty, pretty dang hard. 
but if I remember correctly, it has never come to a point where I thought, damn, this is unfair, like I can't win or anything, it's just, it just gets harder and harder, it, it has a nice difficulty spike, or a difficulty, yeah, let's call it a spike, or curve. One more experience point for the next level, I mean, come on. So he will get it anyway, even if I race with someone else. So I'm gonna use my snore pork just so that it can get some experience as well. Look at his little feet! Because he's on grass and he's good on grass. That always shows you if it's a type of terrain that your monster is good on. And also, one more thing I should mention, as far as I can remember, the... Ooh, nice. The monsters do not evolve or anything. You're stuck with the monsters you have. You can get new ones, etc. But they will never change on their own, I think. I might be wrong, though. Bam. <laughs> so, I just did 17 damage. When I jumped on it, there was a little 17 over its head. I think, if I remember correctly, the damage itself doesn't do anything. Like, it's not like the enemy... Oh my god, it's dancing. It's not like the enemy has uh, 50 HP and when all each HP are gone, it's dead or anything, I think. Uh, as far as I know... Oh, I will catch this one. As far as I know, it's just... Um, the more damage you do, the longer it is slowed. Because doing damage just slows them. Got the humble bug. And off to the monsterium. We're gonna need some of them later on. Because I think there was some way to like cross them. Which doesn't change their appearance or anything. It just uh, changes their stats. I think. And also you can um, change where they are good on. Like, my Poco is only good on sand, and the rest it's neutral, but I think you can cross them with, like, one of the water things, and it's good on sand and water. But I can't remember how it was exactly, so I'll just leave that up to next time when I see it. I'm gonna go back to Star City before I check out the race, because this episode is almost over. Hello, you don't know me, but I know you, Renegade. What's that? Who am I? Hmm, how should I put this? This is interesting. Like, let me say this before I go on. It's stupid, but it's interesting. It's a little difficult to explain, and even I don't quite understand. Let's just say this. I could have been you, and you could have been me. It's a little confusing, I know. All you really need to know is that I'm firmly on your side. The thing is, though, I can't come here very often. In case of paradoxes, you know. But on certain days, I can be here. Certain very special days. You can tell if it's a special day by opening the menu with X. On the player menu, you'll see a little mark to show I'm here. Those days you should come and see me in that house over there. So basically it's alternate reality you. If you were had chosen the girl, you would be her. <coughs> Keep an eye out for the mark. You won't regret it. Oh, will you look at the time? I've got to go. If I hang around here, we could all disappear. Spooky spooky. Who on earth was that? And I wonder what she meant by special days. Let's see, is it a special day today? It says a special mark. I don't see anything, so I guess it's not a special day. Anyway, we're gonna save right here. And next time, we're gonna see what the Star Cup holds for us. I hope you enjoy the series. I do. I mean, it's not, there's not much happening right now, but like I said, this is a stupid but fun game. Try it yourself or keep watching me. At least twice a week I will upload this. And if you don't like it, watch my streams where I play something else. And if you don't like that, just wait a few days, weeks, and I will play something else as well. Until then, thank you guys for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye!